Hi friends. So I wanted to articulate something to y'all and this is kind of like my my philosophy in in process at the moment. So it occurs to me that first of all I have to ask myself what are words? Because right now what we're seeing a lot on social media um on the internet with a lot of people like Alex Jones, um, different comedians, is a shutdown by those in power, a censoring, a quieting of certain individuals. And what I've come to learn in my life is that words do not equal violence. Words are the tools which we use to articulate our thoughts, to understand the world around us and to learn not just from one another but to to understand ourselves and to begin to form ideas so anytime I see an individual being censored someone like Alex Jones or someone like Owen Benjamin anytime I see a person like that being shut down being censored there's something in the back of my mind that clicks and says, okay, since I know words are not violence, since I know nothing that this person could say will in any way harm me, what, what idea is so threatening to the elites that this individual has to be silenced completely? And call it, um, call it an aversion to authoritarianism, call it just my own uh, rebellious mentality, but I am drawn to that type of person. If this individual is being shut down merely for the words that are coming out of their mouth, that is somebody that I will go out on a limb and listen to. So think about that. Think about the fact that words are not violence. Words are not actions. Words are imperative. And if there's someone who's being shut down because of the things that, they're, that are coming out of their mouths, because the, what the things that they're saying do not match the narrative that is being spoken by those in power, then maybe it's not just about them being a nuisance. Maybe it's that the ideas that they are formulating and the conversations that they are having are deeply meaningful and maybe they're not. But I don't see why such an effort would be given to shut someone up if their ideas were not an imminent threat to those in power. And that's all I have right now. I'm going to keep listening to those voices and I'm going to measure each one on a case by case basis. But don't allow the mainstream or anyone who, who is just speaking to the, to the sheeple, don't allow them to dissuade you or shame you into not listening to somebody because their words are dangerous because words aren't violence ideas however and those ideas that directly um conflict with the narrative that can be that can be a huge threat to those in power just saying love y'all talk to you soon